Welcome everyone. This is an extremely important video. I have with me today Father Tony Blunt and his brother, his blood brother, Father Jim Blunt. And we are kicking off a very, very important few days of prayer and we want you to join us. It's a critical time in our country, so please, we need to cover this in the protection of Jesus. So Father Jim will lead us with a beautiful prayer called the Unity Prayer that blinds Satan. All right, if you know this prayer, beloved, feel free to follow it with me out there. Uh, this is a prayer approved by the church and it completely blinds and paralyzes the evil spirit from hearing what we're going to do right now. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. amen. The Unity Prayer. My adorable Jesus, may our feet journey together. May our hands gather in unity. May our hearts beat in unison. May our souls be in harmony. May our thoughts be as one. May our ears listen to the silence together. May our glances profoundly penetrate each other. May our lips pray together. Gain mercy of the eternal Father. Amen. Father Jim and I are promoting this special prayer that begins on November 1st, All Saints Day, and will end on December 24th, Christmas Eve, a 54-day novena of rosaries that many are familiar with. That's extremely powerful, revealed by our Blessed Mother in the 19th century, approved by Pope Leo XIII, and very powerful. And so we have to pray this novena, I feel, or we, sh we certainly should, because our country is in a very bad situation that all of us are aware of. And I would express it as a cultural, political, and moral disaster. And that's where kind of where we're heading. And in a way, we're already participating in that cultural, political, moral disaster to some extent. We need, I would say, divine help to get out of this very challenging situation. We don't want to lose hope by any means in the midst of these difficulties. That is a useless thing for us to do, Christine, to be people who are desperate, lacking in, in, happy, in joy and hope. And that can happen in these very difficult times. And I would say, and Father Jim will say this too, as he, because my brother goes around the country everywhere and he sees this situation of people are very desperate because of the times living in, uh, things are getting more challenging, one would say by the day in so many ways. However, we belong to Jesus Christ who loves us and we have hope, especially with our Blessed Mother and her rosary. Father Jim, how would you put it? Well, first I would quote um, what our Lord said to Elizabeth Kindleman from the Flame of Love movement. These words, of course, have the imprimatur. Jesus said to Elizabeth, the mystic, the renewal of the earth will take place. It doesn't say might take place. The renewal of the earth will take place through the power and imploring force of the Blessed Virgin Mary. And so we have a promise from Jesus Christ himself to an approved mystic with an imprimatur that there is a victory coming to this country and to the entire world. Yes. Our Lady is Our Lady of Hope, Madre de Esperanza, Our Lady of Hope. Yes. Uh, really, in a nutshell, we can't lose. We can't lose. We're on the winning team. Amen. And the Lord is allowing this for his own sovereign reasons. We know what he's doing. He's purifying us. He's purifying the world. And we, faithful Christians, have to become more faithful. And the chosen weapon, as Padre Pio said, the chosen weapon would be the Holy Rosary. That we want to, as Catholics and all Christians and all people of goodwill, take up our rosaries and pray. And so there's every reason to hope and not to fear. We want to pray for faith, for hope, and for love during this novena. And that would be our second intention. Our first one, of course, as you said, Father Tony, for the rescue of this country. But secondly, for the holy grace of hope that we will pray with hope and live in hope and confidence. Brothers and sisters, God is not deaf. He is not deaf. He really hears each one of us. He cares for us. And so we're going to pray this novena in that spirit of hope and confidence because God always hears us. He will answer us. 
How that answer will come about or what it will be, that's another question, how God chooses to manifest it, but it's going to happen. So the way it's prayed, it begins on November 1st, it's divided into two parts, 27 days of petition and 27 days of thanksgiving. 27 and 27, which equals 54. And the first 27 days of petition were asking God and the Blessed Mother through her intercession for one thing only, for one petition, which is, as we have expressed it, the rescue of this country from this very difficult situation we are in. One could say terrible situation, morally, culturally, and otherwise. On the first day of this novena, which will be November 1st, All Saints Day, you pray the, you pray the joyful mysteries. On the second day, we pray the sorrowful mysteries. On the third day, the glorious mysteries. But remember, that that's the order every three days. It never changes. Joyful, sorrowful, glorious. You keep repeating that order. It doesn't matter what day of the week it is until we get to 27. Okay? And then when we reach the 27th day, on the, the next, then we begin another 27 days. But this time, only in Thanksgiving. That's how powerful this novena is. By the way, on November 1st, at 9 p.m. Eastern Time, which is 6 p.m. in California, we'll be praying the, novi the, the first rosary of this novena live. Uh, and also on that day. On December 24th, the last day, we'll pray another rosary live at 12 noon Eastern Time, 9 a.m. In, in Pacific Time. Okay? Now, the novena is, is, is that, but there's also something else that others might want to do. We call this option B. Option A is what we just said. If you'd like to do more than only pray the rosary, which is what we're going to do, you can also go to queenofpeacemedia.com, and you're going to find there Mary's Mantle Consecration, which is a little more deep. In other words, every day of this novena, There'll be a reading, a meditation, uh, and which uh, Christine is now going to explain a little more about what that's about. So the second option for you is an option to go very deep with this. And this is a consecration called Mary's Mantle Consecration. And what you will do in addition to the 54-day rosary is to read one of these daily meditations just two minutes, and to choose a way you'd like to fast on Friday, every Friday. After 46 days, which are the number of stars on Our Lady's mantle, you will consecrate yourself or re-consecrate yourself to Mary, and you can consecrate your family to Mary. Right now, we need her protection as a people, as a country, as families under her mantle, we're safe. We're spiritually safe. And we become more like Mary because each meditation, you're meditating on a virtue that she possesses in full. So there have been many, many miracles with Mary's mantle consecration, children coming back to the faith, children getting off drugs, marriages healed, people healed, people coming back to the Eucharist, coming back to faith and the hope that has been mentioned in this video comes back into people's hearts. It's, it's incredible. And everything that we've talked about is on a website, which is probably a relief to you right now. You can go to this specific website. It's queenofpeacemedia.com forward slash 54 days. So you go there on November 1st, if you can join us for the live rosary to kick everything off. And also, if you just don't want to pray your particular rosary that day alone, as it were, I'll be posting three videos, well, actually four pre-recorded videos. They will be of all the different mysteries of the rosary with pictures of the different mysteries passing through to give you a visual aid to go deep in prayer. Fathers, would you have anything to say in closing? Yes, I would encourage everyone also, one more time, join us and get as many as possible to join us. I'd love to see 100,000 or more, uh, Father Jim and Christine, 
I'd love to say a million. I'm not sure that would, that could happen, but we would everyone would pray this novena heartily uh, for this beautiful country for God's blessing. And I wanted to mention several things, Father Tony and Christine. The first is this: I, I've learned this from Saint John Eudes and the other saints. I'm going to share this with our our audience today. And that is, we want to begin asking the Holy Spirit for the gift of Mary's own hope. We need to operate with Mary's faith, Our Lady's faith, Our Lady's hope, and Our Lady's love. If we ask Mama sincerely, and by the way, this is the purpose of consecration and Mary's mantle consecration, is to have Mary's virtues within us. Something dynamic happens. It literally will change our lives. So let's offer this novena and pray this novena through Mary with her faith, with her hope, and with her love. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. <laughs>